Okay, so we're going to take a look today at the Hue lighting system. This is for my Philips, and uh, this is the uh, Wemo light switch by Belkin. So the first thing we'll take a look at is the light switch itself. I've had this, I have this installed in the wall, so you actually have to do some wiring. Um, it's, it's a basic switch, so you have the power on, power off, but you also can control it from your Android smartphone and uh, it's usable over 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi once you have it all set up. So basically, it just talks to your router, your internet, and uh, you're controlling it from anywhere. So that is the Wemo light switch by Belkin. Okay, and this costs $50. Got it at Best Buy. The other thing is this right here. This is the uh, Philips Hue starter kit. This is a $200 setup. And uh, basically it comes with three bulbs, and they have two different sets of this. So one set comes with three of these bulbs, which these are... Let's see, these are a 8.5 watt bulb, and it goes from 2,000 to 6,500K. Okay, and they're run off 2.4 gigahertz. So you can see that. That's the regular hue bulb. That's the original hue bulb. This is the inside of the box looks like. So these bulbs are in the lamps that I have. I got two lamps in here with those in them. Okay, and then this is the 8 watt bulb. You can see that there. So these are 8 watt bulbs, 630 lumen, and these go from 2000 to 6500. And these are a down uh, a directional bulb, like a down fire type of bulb. So they go like in a canister type of fitting. And you'll see that's what I have up on the ceiling. Is the can the three three light fixture canister setting. Okay, so that's why we went with this kind of starter kit. Here is the Philips Hue receiver that it comes with that comes with the starter kit that and the three bulbs so basically it plugs into a power cord it plugs into your internet it doesn't have to be hardwired in I have it hardwired in but it can all, it all has Wi-Fi built in and uh, it's pretty simple to set up you just go pl plug this in put your bulbs in turn all the bulbs on and when you go to the Philips Hue app it will tell you to push the button and it will push that center button and it will receive the signal and you're done. It will recognize your lights from there. You can rename them and you can do that all from the app or you can do it on their website and all this works on IFTTTT also so you can make it so the lights change blue when you post a hashtag on Facebook or on Twitter or send them a text message or an email. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do. You can have the weather updates uh, come through your lights uh, the options are endless when it comes to using IFTTT and a lighting setup like I have here. So what you're looking at right now is this light switch here on the wall. So this is the Wemo light switch by Belkin. It's controllable from anywhere. So you can see here I'm also using IFTTT. So with IFTTT's website you can create triggers. So you can see this light says oh, this widget I have created using Tasker says light switch on we'll click that and give it a second there you go the light switch just turned on so when what I'm doing in the background of this is uh, sending a text message so the background of that widget using tasker is actually sending a text message that says hashtag on and that's sending that text message to ifttt.com and hashtag on equals Wemo light switch on okay so here you can see all of the hue lights there is three light bulbs up in the ceiling I got a desk lamp over there by the desk and then I have a lamp over here on the dresser so here you'll see this is the Hue app itself okay so like you have different presets right when you open the app so we'll go sunset and you'll see there's what it did to the lights 
and the UAP itself can be done over 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi. So you do not have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, so there's that preset. You have uh, Deep Ocean, or Deep Sea. So here's Deep Sea. So you can see what that did to the lamps and the ceiling lights. Okay, now you also have control over each bulb individually. So we can go click down here, and it opens this up. So now we have the bedside light, B, v, si B and V side, which these are the three ceiling lights. And then we have the desk lamp, and we have the dresser lamp. So you can see if I go over to the desk lamp, see there how quick it is. We can adjust the different, that's the brightness of it. Okay, and then if we turn the app when this tab is open, now you can see here there's numbers 1 through 5. So each bulb consists of a number. So number 1 bulb, you can see that bulb up there on the ceiling that we're adjusting. Number 5, that's this dresser lamp over here. So here's number 5. So you have complete control, and then you have also your, uh, whatever one that you're adjusting, you'll see it'll change the focus here. Whatever one you're adjusting, you also have control on the slider down here of the brightness. So you're, we're adjusting number two, we have control over number two, like so. So you can see it changing up there. So it would be that ceiling light off to that side. Okay, so that's just the Hue app that they have. And you can set your own presets and you can set a schedule. So you can have it so it turns off at, it turns off at 3 a.m. every morning. Or you can have it turn on at 7 a.m. However you want to do it. And through the IFTTT website... For example, right now I have it so if the weather forecast changes to rain, uh, the lights will turn blue. Okay, so that's just the Hue app. So then there's another app that I use, and it's called Hue Pro. This app costs $1.99. The Hue app is free. So Hue Pro, you can set tons of presets on here, and it actually shows you. Let's see if you can see this here. So like I, it has the random, so these are just randomly going to change the light bulbs every time you push it. So there you go. And it changes them each a different color and a different brightness. I created a nighttime mode. This is one that I created. So that's going to kill the lamp lights and just light up the ceiling. And it's really dim. Then you have, uh, this one's called Love Shack. This is one that's already built in there. So it's kind of a red and blue tint. Red and, or pink and blue, I guess. So, let's turn it back here. There we go. You also have bulbs and groups. So, like, I've created a group with the ceiling lights. So we can go like this. And that will just turn the ceiling lights off. So you can see there you have a lamp on and, a, and the other lamp on. Okay, and then we can turn those back on. We can turn the lamps off. So we have the other the lamp setting there. So you see that killed both lamps. You have all off, all on. Okay, and then you can create as many groups as you want. You have color, you have control over each individual bulb here. So you can see we can change this. We can go here, and you can adjust the temperature, uh, the the color temperature. You can actually go in and adjust the numbers, and it shows you a graph of how everything looks. Or you can go to hue color, and then you have this little setup here. So you can go saturation, brightness. So you can see there, we're adjusting that far bulb over there. Ok, 
Okay, so that is the bulbs and groups. You have schedules. I haven't had it, don't have it set none yet, but this is where you could set schedules for it to turn on and turn off, stuff like that. Then this one also has a music button built into it. So you have music. You can select, select music. And then when you turn that on, so you'll see every time I'm talking, the lights are going to be changing. The microphone is actually listening. And you can adjust the color range, the color palette. So you can actually adjust the color palette. You can adjust the range. So they'll stay in a yellow tint right now. So I have the color range up and that and the color the color range and the color all the way up. And I have it on individual. You can also have it on grouped and you can select what lights you want to go into the lava mode or into the music mode. Okay, so we can shut the music mode off. Now we'll check out the lava lamp. So this is lava lamp. So we'll turn it on. Right now it's set at one second. So every second the right lights are going to change to the colors that are in this color palette. So I have the color all the way up and the color range all the way up. So they can select from all different colors. So you can see here every second these lights are going to change colors. And you can change that all the way from down to milliseconds. So we can go all the way down to 50 milliseconds and all the way up to 60 seconds so you can have it so every minute the lights will change so that is the lava lamp on Hue Pro and there will be links in the description to go download any one of these apps that I'm showing here and to go purchase the lights. I bought all the lights from Best Buy. Okay, then the other app that I use, we'll show you here, is uh, it's called Hue Disco. Okay, so here's what Hue Disco looks like. Looks like we still have lava lamp on. Let's go back here. Okay, I turned the lava off. So now we're going to go take a look at Hue Disco. So Hue Disco is another app that you can purchase. So you have a strobe effect. Turn the strobe on. And then within the strobe, you have new color off to slide down. Uh, change it to white. So right now they're lighting up only white. We can go rainbow. So here you can see what this looks like. That's all the lights doing a strobe effect. Okay, now within the strobe effect, you can adjust the color brightness. So there, I just turned the brightness up on them, so now they're really bright. Uh, microphone sensitivity can be adjusted. Um, and this is when, so we'll turn that off. We'll put it in the listen mode. So now it's listening. Okay, and I have the color brightness turned about halfway. So this is Hue Disco music. I have the microphone set up pretty good. So now we will try out some music. And you have also, uh, let me see this here. It says snap, mix, or smooth. So you can have them do a smooth transition from one color to another. Or you can have them do a mix of both. So we'll leave it on mix of both. I'll play some music on it here for you. Okay, and you can make that as go a little faster if you wanted to. It all depends on your mic sensitivity level and that kind of stuff. So there's a lot you can do with the Hue lighting system, and then you throw a Wemo switch in there. So like right now when I turn that Wemo switch off, all the lights shut off. So what it does, it, it, the light switch itself is in the wall that controls those ceiling lights. And through IFTTT, it tells also to turn the lamps off when I turn that Wemo light switch off. So you kill all the lights with one switch. Okay, so then uh, let's do, the other thing is IFTTT and uh, using Tasker on my phone, I can talk to it. So you can see that what that does is it will turn the, the Wemo light switch on. 
and it will also light up all of the lights. Light it up. So you'll get the Wemo light switch turning on and you'll be lighting up all your bedroom lights. There you have it. So all the lights came on, the Wemo light switch got turned on. If it was off it would have got turned on and would have triggered all the lights to get turned on. So then also using IFTTT, so now we can go to the text messaging part. So you can set up different triggers on IFTTT, so I'll show you. I have one that's set up for, so you type in Hue, Corn, Flower, Blue. And these also recon recognize a the color hex code so if you can if you look online you can find number codes to go with each color and from the from the IFTTT website you can change the color of any bulb to I haven't found a lot of colors that it doesn't recognize so this is uh, cornflower blue so you see that it changed all the lights to cornflower blue so like I also have like goldenrod yellow uh, there's a lot you can do. Turn the lights gold. So what that does when I'm talking to it, it just triggers a text message in the background that sent to IFTTT and the trigger is all lights turn gold. So you can see there, now we have gold lights. So that is the Hue lighting system with a Wemo switch and several different apps that you can use in the Play Store and this is running off the Google Nexus 5 running stock Android so go to the Play Store and check it out the widget that you're seeing here in this big widget that is from Hue Pro so that is at 8 settings so you can go and these are your presets. So I have nighttime. This is Vanessa, my fiance. She she designed this one. So if you click on Vanessa, it changes them to the colors that she liked. Okay, then you have deep sea, blue rain. It's like an intense blue. And then you have random. And again, you can adjust all these presets and set them on there, and you can have as many widgets as you want. So you could have a page full of just widgets with all your different presets that you have for your lighting system. And then we can turn them all off here. Peace.